Welcome to your doom. Shut it and get up here. <laughs> Massive <laughs> uppercut! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Jab Jab Show. Today, as you can probably see, I'm sat here on the floor on Exo Assessor yet again. So it's another retro game video that I'll be playing. And this and today's video is a challenge. Now I've not been doing many challenges recently on my channel, um, for one reason or another. You know, I've had a lot of things in my life that are going on in my life, new job and things and things and things. So, um, and I recently missed out on Castlevania 4, Super, Super Castlevania on Super Nintendo. I wanted to play that, realised after a little while that it's actually, um, you know, it's too late to do that challenge or something. Probably. And before that, it's Super Punch Out, and it was something I don't know I, I wanted to do. I, I love Punch Out, I never played Super Punch Out, but I never got around, around to playing that. So uh, this week, well, this challenge uh, is called an X2 for the Sega Mega Drive. Here it is, I've got it and everything. Uh, car and instructions and everything. Um, so there are some stipulations for this, um, you have to play Zack Spatler, uh, you have to play in the normal setting with 3 bars energy, you can't use any dragons in there, or bizarians, as I think they called, well, they called it the first one, I'm guessing they called it the same thing, anyhow, and you can only use one continue. Now, um, okay, it's, I love the original Golden Axe, I think it's one of the best games of, you know, one of my, I don't know, I've, I've not done this, but maybe it's, maybe it's in my top 10 Golden Axe. Uh, the second one uh, I liked. Don't, I like. Don't get me wrong. It's very similar to the first one, in a lot of ways. Um, you'll see the footage if, if you're aware of the first one and so on. And uh, obviously, if you're aware of this one, you probably understand what I'm what I'm saying. So, uh, so this this challenge was set by uh, back in the day gamer. Uh, so hello out there, back in the day gamer. As also, uh, I've seen the video uh, that was uploaded by Captain Algebra. As of today, being a Sunday, so hello, Captain Algebra, and hello, everyone out, out there who's gonna, gonna, uh, you know, kind of participate in this challenge, and anyone else who's watching. Hello, everyone out there. So, without further ado, let's play the game. Sega. Is it Sega? Okay. And this is Go Like Sue. This is telling you about the the what's happened to the event on the first one. I've played loads. I've not played this one that much, to be honest. Well, certainly not to the level of the first one, um, which should be another video if I make, you know, when I make it. If I go next one on the Mega Drive. Uh, this is a console exclusive. Uh, there was a uh, arcade game, arcade sequel to the arcade, which never made it out of the arcade. I don't think. The Golden Axe uh, Revenge of Death Island. It's supposed to be really good. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. I've never played it unfortunately, never saw it in the arcade. Anyway, 1991 Sega. It's 89 for the original, I think. 1989. So let's play. The normal Live Meter 3. Let's listen to. There you go. Some, some sound effects there. I don't know if this one. I think it's one bag in the area where you can use a sound test and check the sound effects for whatever reason. I was, I was finding fun scrolling through the sound effects. Anyway, uh, I've got the jewel there. Did you play that? As with the first one, you've got Julius Underhead, Tyrese Flair, and Axe Battler, who we need to use for this one. So there we go. So there's me. You've got the, you got the same, move, well, same, same kind of moves there. B and C together do different things. Do that. I think in the first one he does a little, it does a little, little, I don't know what you call it, little turn, and he does uh, uh, ah no, there. They do it. They have little, little different deaths, death noises, or oh, blah. I think the other ones like you know the other ones have digitized uh, voices like ah and all that. But the little Blair thing is a it's a weird one. But well, there we go. Okay. So let's, let's see about you. Little wizard guy legging it there. And you know. Ah. 
we'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see about that. So they've got a shoulder badge, like from the first one. It plays very similarly, you got the magic and everything like that. Now there's the dragon, I must not get on and then start getting people with. Oh no! Oh, that's a cheap, that's a cheap way of losing a life, isn't it? Just didn't want to do that. Now, the thing is, with a lot of scrolling beam ups from this area and the previous one with Double Dragon and so forth. Double Dragon, Streets of Rage, All of the Beasts, uh, well, not so much All of the Beasts, Alien Storm, that kind of thing. You're probably best off uh, seeing if you can get on the, on the, get the bad guys on the same side, as in not to surround you because, you know, they can hit you in the back and things like that. Uh, this is my technique of Gold Knight's 1. And uh, yeah, that's what I use. And I say the, the gameplay is very similar. The, it, it, the, the game back in the day didn't get many, didn't get great reviews like the first one. I think it's pretty good, but I can see why it was criticised for not really doing much more, much different to the uh, formula. And why change your winning formula? But yeah, but it's still you know, pretty good. They've reskinned a few things on it. All the few things, but yeah, it's pretty much the same game by and large. So I've lost a life just by getting, um, you know, just by uh, you know, just by being knocked off. Now here's is the first level, and even though this is a console exclusive and not. Yeah, okay, if you know the first first game, although I do like it, the levels are quite short because it is an arcade game, and it looks like they follow on the tradition it, and instinctively, <laughs> oh, it's not throwing me on the floor. Well, I did too well there. Eh? Little horse guy. I'm guessing he's uh, based on something from mythology. So this is these are like the ogres of this game. Remember the ogres? Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Jump, 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 jump. So like with a lot of scrolly beam ups as well as the moving on your know, on the the line, if you will. Don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's all about like timing your attacks and all. So make sure you get the the hits in first. A little local guys from He-Man. Replace the green, green and blue elves from the first game. And uh, a campfire between levels and all that. Learning him. Give, give us things. I'm ready to go. And uh, as in the first one, this will this, on the first one you'd have a map with a little um, quill, writing this down, writing stuff on the map, telling you what's happening. All the beasts are a similar thing as well. So I'm not doing too well here to be honest. <laughs> that has been a while since I've played this. And this is what I don't want to happen. Ganging off on me like that. So yeah, the, 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 even the bad guys have won in a similar fashion to that as they did in the first one and jump at you like that and stuff. And even the ghost side, every, you know, it's very similar, very, very similar. And there's a little chicken leg. It's been slightly modified since the first one. A double tail of that. Then go on it, because that will start eating people, because that will um, void off my challenge. <laughs> Now, oh, what's going on here? Is that getting thrown? <sighs> pain, in the, pain in the bum, these, these lots of times. Look, he's like... Yeah, you can, you can stop throwing green stuff at me. There we go, finally. Okay. Now these skeletons... They were right pain in the first one. 
got different classes on this one. But there's still there can be a bit of a bit of an, an annoyance. So you got to see how rapid some of our moves they can use. Kicking them to bits. Ah! So I mean he got the first hit in and he was up here. Oh, he's my first credit for the one and only can continue that I can use. Oh, there you go. Are you see, you see, this is a move by you. There's a black L. Black Orko now. Don't know what they're called, just reminds me of Orko from uh, the He Man cartoon. There's a black skill in there. So we've got different classes. I'm not sure if, what if like, they're slightly faster or what. But, you know, that's, that's it, it's a, a little bit of variety, like, you know, different from the first one. We only had one class of skeleton in the first one. Annoying, that's what the class were. Yeah. <sighs> Rubbish. I like the one it. One of the things I can do without having to, especially in, you know, it, when you're I mean, surrounded, it can get in these kind of games. The kind of that kind of jump chop thing. I don't know if it's an actual term. Uh, you know, it's just one of the things. Instead of having to spend ages going through rapid fire moves. I think they might have underpowered it a little bit because I remember the first, the first game that was like you know quite you know really effective against like, anyone, including the ogres and that you know you have to look do it like that instead of doing it like that. Watch do it like that. Oh, red red skull is there or pink or burgundy, whatever colour that response a bit that is. I don't know. If, they don't seem to be any tougher than the others. I don't know. Maybe they found a different lineage, the more posher or something, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, the skeletons are gonna go down. Yeah. Even, even, even the characters, the moveset, the animations of them, very similar. But still. Oh, boss. Nah. Obviously this is a knight, we have knights in the first one, this time you can go ahead, let's press magic. Yeah, I'll learn him. I'll get rid of the skeleton perhaps. Ah, there you go. Oh, this, this is the problem when you got like, multiple enemies, ah, as I mentioned. See. Go away, and you, and you, ah! Oh, I'm not going to do well here, I'm not doing well. Alright. Ah! No. But at least the, uh, the, the arena, the, the area is quite big, I can, you know, you can kind of like hide out of the way. Wait for the. Oh, there we go, just me and you, Nighty. There we go, I'm learning. Now, there we go. Basically, it gets your line of. Um, of I don't know what you call it, the plane or something. But you see, you're walking up to the plane, on the same line that I am. Right, okay. I've got a little bit of magic left, so let's, let's um, see what I can do. What he does. I don't eat no, obviously that's some kind of effect. Uh, ah It's annoying like, because obviously the solar barge and it won't let me kind of press it an odd amount of times. Forward anyway. There we go, I'll learn him. One power of energy. This ain't good. This ain't good. There you go. 
Give us skills energy. I don't want these little books you keep having. There you go, give us a chicken. Hey, give us a little chicken. So I usually play this on, on, on easy with the, with, the, with the maximum amount of energy bars. So I'm not doing too well. <laughs> so there we go, so I'm telling you what's happening now. There we go. There you go. There you go. All this stuff. Uh, there you go. Escape. Alright, this ain't good. Now, you go like three. I only played quite recently. It's a Japan only game. I've seen reviews back in the day about it. It was criticised, go like three, for being a bit bland and what have you, but at least, I have, I'll say I haven't played it, I can see why, it, no, but at least it changed up a little bit. No, 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 this ain't happening. So this is my. Ah! There you go. Give me some chicken, someone give me a chicken. Yeah, I know, go like three. Give you different characters and I think the biggest sprites, but yeah, the the backgrounds were a bit bland and that's me gone. That's me gone. I can't it's it's against the rules, I can't continue. It's given me the option to, but I can't. So there's my there's my um, there's my challenge. I don't think I'll beat anyone on that one. Oh well, thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> it's been fun revisiting the game. I got an F, that ain't good is it? Anyway, um, thanks for watching and stay tuned, I'll have more videos uploaded soon. Thank you.